I'm Creative Cramble, back with another one. Yeah, so I've got a little gap there I need to fill in. And in this video, I'm going to show you uh, what I use for the mix and also what I do to uh, gauge the mix out so you get the right colour and the right strength every single time. Also as well, what I add to the water and also how I mix the mix up. So, I've got plenty to do through there. I think I've got about 80 or 90 metres to do. And um, yeah, also as well, I'll show you how I get a nice finish finish on there, on my surface there. And um, without smudging that surface there. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And also the mix I'm using as well, you can use on patios and stuff like that, or filling in for pointing and stuff like that. So it is a strong mix and, and it's really good as well. Really good, strong uh, mix there. So yeah. In fact, I did put a can down there where I've got to end. So when I get to that can, uh, the core can down there, and looks like there's a fox on its way down there, you know? Let's see where this guy goes. I don't know if you can see him. Oh well, he's coming down, no, he is coming down, if I keep still he might go by me, looks a bit wary, no, he's going back the other way, okay, we'll crack on. So the mix I'm using is with sharp sand, and cement and all I've done is put three shovelfuls of sharp sand in that bucket and that pretty much brings it up level with the top of that uh, the three gallon bucket there so we've got six in there in total and then I know for definite that uh, when you cut a bag of cement in half in that bag half bag there is two shovelfuls of cement as well so always use the half bag there like that and I always gauge any sort of uh, mix I do I always gauge it and this one works out to be a three in one mix so nice and strong also as well I like to use a bit of unibond there and I put a bit of that in the water that just helps it gives it a, a nice bond to the surface you you pointing so I'll put a bit of that in there. Better stir up. Like I say, I always gauge any mix I do. Uh, if it's mortar or sand cement or any any mix whatsoever, I always gauge. That way, you can't go wrong. It gives it the nice, uh, the same strength and the same colour. So what I normally do is. Let me barrow down first. I'll just mix these up dry first. Half a bag of cement. Then I always give it a dry mix first, mix all that in. There's no need to do it in the mixer, cement mixer. It's quite easy doing it like this. Okay, let me finish that and then I'll show you the consistency how I like to use it.
yeah so this is the consistency of the the mix there and it's it's pretty much like screed um if you've ever seen screed but it's it's ideal for pointing so just you know if you that's a little test there just about sort of holes together like that that's pretty much it so it's not too dry not too wet just get the mix right there and that's ideal for for pointing so that's that's the consistency I get yeah so I'm gonna start filling that gap up now get me a nice mix there so all I'm gonna do is just work my way along like that first just fill it in roughly and then just firm it down a little bit get it pushed down into that gap just like that and with that edge of the trowel there onto that surface just run that across there like that and that just gets it nice and flat same again I'll just work my way along like that Firming it in. And then just give it a nice trowel off like that. As a go. And like I said, there's no smudges there on that surface. Nice and clean. There's nothing worse than smudgy points on the surface of a, a tile or something or a slab. So, nice and neat. It is all in the mix really. You get the mix right. It makes your life a lot easier. There you go, nice little demonstration there on a I'll do a nice bit of point in there as well really. Just like that. Yeah, so I finally finished off all the pointing. There's the can there I was talking about earlier. Everything's pointed up now. That's how far I travelled. 
that's got to be 80 or 90 meters but we're all done now well pleased with how, uh, with how it all came out as well and uh, yeah so some really good tips there in the video um, especially uh, getting your gauge right and doing a gauge mix rather than guessing it um, good tip there with the, uh, the unibond as well in the water that just gives it a nice bond to the surface and also the consistency of your mix as well is really important um, I would mind like a squarely sort of type mix ideal for pointing and what that allowed me to do was um, work really quickly and effectively giving that pointing a really nice nice look as well all the way through well pleased the way it all turned out but like I said if you get it right uh, in your mix that does help out a lot that's it we're gonna get cleaned up job done thanks for watching like and subscribe turn on notifications and I'll see you in the next